Welcome to the presentation on changing and rebuilding the Cable Caddy Power Reel. The presentation is broken up into three parts. The history is, is that the power in the coach would be bouncing on and off on the transfer switch. It would be click, 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 click. And then you'd move the power reel that would go away and then a couple days later it would start up again and so forth. So eventually it came time to try and figure this thing out. I think it actually damaged my inverter as well. So I took the cable reel out. You can see from the pictures it looked just fine. It looked perfect. It reeled in, reeled out, went just fine. When I started to stick, take it apart, then I saw the, the problems that this thing had. And I think this design is inherently bad in its structure. They use a copper graphite bushing, I guess it is. It looks like a, a rod that goes down to make contact with the slip rings and that transfers a lot of amperage and of course the power through to the transfer switch and then so forth into the coach. But if these brushes start to miss contact or they get wet, then they pit and corrode and that's what happened on this system. Someone had overflowed the washer. This coach was closer to a submarine than it was like a over the road coach. Everything leaked in that water just did extensive damage and so this is another spot in the coach that was damaged. The washing machine had overflowed, the lint trap was screwed up and ran into the electrical bay and took out the inverter, the transfer switch and of course it got into the power reel. They replaced the transfer switch and put an inverter in when I got the coach but nobody had ever taken the power reel apart. So when I took it apart here's what I found. You can see that the brushes are actually totally melted. There's no possible way they would work. I did a great deal of looking and trying to find used parts and different parts and uh, so forth. I think I could, and I polished the rings up on this thing. I eventually could have got this to probably work, changing the design and making my own bushings. But at a point, I just realized that this was inherently a, a fundamentally flawed design. So what I did was... I decided that the reel itself was good. The most important part to me was being able to reel it up under power. It free wheels to unload the, uh, the cable. The better connection would be to make a hard connection like you do with a wall plug. So I bought these two relatively inexpensive uh, connectors from, I think they're Camco, and I'll, I'll put a link to that in the, in the bottom of this video. Anyway, I bought those things. They have a handle on them. They're easy to pull in and out, and they, they handle a the current. They will not, you know, unless you get water in them, they'll not make any sort of bad connection. This is much stronger in connection than, of course, slippery 